Today I'm comparing a couple of the telescope cases that I've used for transporting my Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. The first case I tried was the Pelican 1660 case. Now this was quite expensive, very very heavy duty and very well built, uh, but I found it a little bit too heavy for my use even though it did a great job of protecting the telescope. So then I switched over to the HBRC 2800W case. Now this was also very very well built. I think in terms of build quality it was maybe just a little bit below the Pelican case uh, but at the same time it was also quite a bit lighter and I really liked this case but I found that it ended up taking a bit too much space with my telescope. So eventually I switched over to the Celestron soft case. Now this is of course a lot lighter than any of the Pelican case or the HBRC cases um, and it's made for the schmidt cassegrain uh, 11 inch size however they do have them for the smaller 9.25 and the C8 as well. So here I have two C11 Edge HDs. Uh, one of them has the ZWO EAF focuser and the other one has Celestron's own uh, electronic focuser. So I'll try both of these with the Celestron case and see how well they fit. Okay, so I'm going to lower the telescope in from the top like this. Okay. Now with the Celestron focuser, it looks like it'll fit perfectly. There we are, okay. Now, yep, that's very well balanced, easy to carry, and I can open it up from here as well if I like. Now there is enough space to put all the other accessories in here. So if I wanna put my red dot finder, for example, and uh, finder scope, camera, anything else. And then it also comes with this shoulder strap. Okay, let's see how well this works with the shoulder strap. Okay, yep, that's pretty easy. I'd prefer to carry it just from here though, and it balances quite well as you can see. Now let's try it out with the ZWO focuser. Okay, let's close it up. So it looks like with the ZWO focuser, it still closes pretty well. There is enough space in there and then you can tighten this if you want. Okay, there is still enough space here for other accessories. Uh, yeah, the ZWO focuser is kind of touching the top over here, but it looks like that's fine. There is enough space in there for the ZWO focuser as well. Let's see how it feels when we're moving it around. Okay, yeah, that's totally doable. And of course we can carry it around using the shoulder strap. So I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to fit it in there with the ZWO focuser, but it works. If I really want to make sure that there's enough space in the case, I can always just take the ZWO focuser off when I'm traveling. Uh, all I need to do is take off these two screws and the ones here and here and then the focuser will just pop off and uh, I can attach it again when I get to my destination. But I think it fits fine with the ZWO focuser. It's a little bit tight, but I don't think that's a problem. It's, there's enough space in there to keep the skull properly protected but it looks like it's designed to be used more with the original Celestron focuser. So here's a close up look at the case. Here is the main compartment. The padding seems adequately thick and that should be enough to protect your telescope from any sorts of scratches or dings. Um, of course, I don't think it'll be quite enough if you drop your scope uh, like the big hard cases might be, but again, I don't recommend dropping your scope anyway. And then this is the back. So you can also insert your scope from the back here. Some nice velvety material over here to protect the back of the scope. <coughs> and 
And then up at the very top here, there's space for accessories like your finder scope and uh, whatever else you might want to put here. And this is also very well padded on both sides. I hope you found that helpful. If you do decide to buy one of these cases, be sure to use the links in the description of this video as that helps out this channel at absolutely no cost to you. Thanks for watching and clear skies.